Hey everybody, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. Today's video is a little bit different because I finally got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I want to apply this to my skin today to show you how it looks on a 46 year old face. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Trina and I make videos mostly about beauty devices and skincare, but sometimes I love to do makeup videos, especially to try out makeup that's trending like this on social media. I have been seeing this product everywhere on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere. So I really wanted to give it a try. There are so many shades available for the Beautiful Skin Foundation. So I went to Sephora and got color matched with shade five neutral. Sephora has a new color IQ test. So I got color matched to shade five N. And if you haven't done the color IQ test in a while, I recommend you go in and do it because there's so many more shades available now than there were when I did the color IQ years ago. So it's a good idea to redo the color IQ because I don't even think the old one works anymore. Most brands carry so many more shades in their range these days. So it's a good idea to go into a Sephora to get color matched. I already have my moisturizer and some primer on. I'm going to go ahead and, and apply the foundation to one side of my face so we can see a before and after. So here's 5N, that's how it looks. It says Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation for your best healthy looking skin day every day. Skin looks more radiant by up to 285% long-lasting pollution defense. It says that it minimizes the appearance of pores, reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots, and skin appears instantly brighter. So I'm gonna just do one side of my face so we can compare. And already I can see that I need a lot more than I'm applying. It looks really beautiful so far, I have to say. It really just melts into the skin and it's really easy to apply. And I have this annoying hormonal acne spot that just will not go away. So I'm always looking for products that can cover that. So that is just one thin layer on this side of my face. I have to say, it looks so much nicer than the other side of my face. I have so much pigmentation here. You can see what a beautiful job it did on my skin. I'll try to get closer here so you can see. And now I will do the other side. Some on my forehead here. I have to say, I'm really impressed with this so far. I feel like it does live up to the hype. So there's this side, as you can see, my skin looks just so much more even. It looks really glowy. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I am so excited I got to try it out. Just gonna set it really lightly with this powder. And I have to say, I kind of like it better without the powder. I think the powder kind of makes it settle into my fine lines. I'm not really loving that look with the powder. I think it looks a lot better if you just wear it on its own without a powder, which is interesting. Um, I think that dewy, glowy look is much more in than a powdered look. So that's one tip I have. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, which is a blush which I've seen go so viral, especially on TikTok. So this is a really pretty color called Pinkgasm. A magic wand to enhance the cheeks with a perfect glowgasmic high blush. Okay, so I have to twist it open, then I squeeze to get some product to come up really gently. Ooh, that comes up really quickly. So you can see here, some color has come in. I'm gonna do it really lightly to start, just here on my cheeks. I'm just gonna put two dots on the high points of my cheek. Um, two or three dots. And then I'm gonna use this blush brush that I have to blend it in. Wow, it is really beautiful. The hype around Charlotte is real. It is worth it. This, these products are beautiful. Can you see that? It just gave me just a really, my skin just a really beautiful 
glow. And I like that it put the glow back into my skin because I kind of got rid of the glow when I set it with powder. So you can see that's really beautiful. I think what I'm gonna do is try to tap over the powder just to bring back some of the foundation glow back a little bit, see if that helps. See if I like that. It definitely helps. So that's the final look with just the foundation and the blush. Let me know what you think. I love it. Let me know if you want me to make more makeup videos and what makeup do you want me to test out because I want to make videos that you want to watch and most of my videos are about beauty devices and skincare. But if you'd like me to test out more makeup like this for mature skin, I would love to. So let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, share with a friend, give it a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.